Okay, so we're gonna have a look at padding and margins. So what do we mean by padding and margins? Well, let's just um, create a new <coughs> wonderful paint. So we need to understand the box model of CSS. So we have a div. Now this is our div. Imagine we make a div. There we go. So what we need to understand is uh, if we wanted to make another div, normally what happens is that the div kind of goes next to it or goes below it and there's no padding in between them. We need some spacing. So what we can do is we can add padding. So padding is basically something we can add around our div um, and we can define padding at the top. We can define padding on the right or the bottom or the left. So we can put padding around the whole thing, define padding around the whole thing in one statement, or we can define the top, right, bottom, and left padding. So different sizes if we wanted to. So this is padding. I'm going to try and type it. Pat. I don't know why. There we go. That's padding. And what we can also do is we can have a margin. So um, if we wanted to, we could define uh, a margin. So the same rules apply. We can define a margin at the top, right, uh, bottom or left if we wanted to. Um, and that allows us to add some different type of spacing. I'm not going to go into that detail now. I just want you to understand this is what uh, a rougher idea, padding and margin. We're going to add padding um, around a div or margins around a div. So we're just going to stick with padding for now. Um, so let's go back into our code. So we're going to add some padding at the top here. So if you remember, this is a row and this is a row. So uh, back into my code, we've got the first row, which represents these three at the top. And then we've got the second row with the three elements at the bottom. Now we want to add some padding. Um, <coughs> and we can do that by adding padding at the bottom of this row, or we can add padding at the top of this row. So in Bootstrap, what we have um, to define padding is some separate classes. So in Bootstrap, what we can do um, <coughs> is define padding using a class. So P uh, for padding, and then we can define where we want it, the top, left, right, bottom. So padding top, so T for top, and then dash, and then we've got a number, one, two, three, four, or five, and these numbers represent the, the size of the padding. So number one is the smallest type and number four is, so number five is the largest padding that we can apply in terms of spacing. So let's put that into action. So we're gonna go to the second row. So that's the first row, this is the second row. And we're gonna add some padding to this div by saying padding top. And then we're just gonna put one for now. And then we're gonna refresh and you can see that there's a tiny bit of padding now. So if I were to type in the number five, that's the biggest, I think, padding um, available. Then you can see there's much more padding. And in between that is, well, a little bit less padding than than you need. So there we go. So um, that's obviously one way of doing it. Now the problem is that I've got padding here and let's just inspect to see how much padding that is. So you can see that we've got 15 padding. So each card has 15, so 15 plus 15, that's 30 padding. So ideally I want 30 padding here. Now the problem is, utilizing this here, um, it doesn't probably give us 15 exactly. So if I were to, um, <coughs> um, look at the padding and margin information, uh, spacing utilities, here we go. So this is basically explains the different paddings, um, what I've kind of explained. So you can see here that um, uh, padding sizes are, aren't defined by pixels. So it's very unlikely, um, that padding zero to five, uh, it's very unlikely that we're gonna be able to get eg the exact size we want to. Again, this is 15, this is 15, so 30 distance. So if we wanted to get 30 exactly, we would need to apply our own styling. So that's what we're gonna do in the next video. We're gonna set up our own style sheet and apply some of our own styling.